What is traveling for you? Great question, man. How would you describe the President of the United States in one word? So, uh, one word. And hey, so my name is Katerina. I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, it is my third time in India. I mean, just take a look at these things. Trying to sleep, man. What? Back, back, back! 100 rupees? What? This guy wants 100 rupees. Bro, man! You wanna go? You wanna fing go? Get out of here! Leave me alone, man! One time I really wanted to punch someone in the face the first time I was here. Namaste. Alright, Pintola Jr. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Get up. Yeah. Take care of yourself, buddy. A long run ahead. Thank you. What an amazing stay on Musafir Hostel. Finally had time to just relax and recover, clear my head. Now I'm ready to cycle again, baby. I had a chance to interview the owner, so I hope he achieves his goals. You guys will check that out later in the video. And here we go to Bundi. About four days, baby. Got this. So hi, I'm uh, Shivanka Tyagi. I am 23 years old and the occupation, if I talk about my occupation, so how I uh, take it as is, I'm creating homes for travelers through Musafir Hostels. So this is the first home I have created in uh, Udaipur. So just want uh, people to come here, have a feel of this sunset and this view, have this vibe, enjoy, be happy, feel comfortable. And as I mentioned, feel like home. I'm creating homes for travelers. First goal is that I have marked 25 cities in India where I want Musafir Hostel to be. And I want Musafir Hostel to be as highly rated as we are in Udaipur. Another goal I have is to start the first 5 star hostel in India. I'm at Chitogar Fort. It's about 13 kilometers in circumference and about 180 meter climb. It's quite beautiful views around the area. Uh, it's one of the largest forts in India. And inside there are many, many places to visit like palaces, forts, temples. It's about 600 rupees for a ticket. So I opted out on it just to cycle around and enjoy the, the sights from far and just to enjoy the views from cycling around here.
learning from people and getting to know about their experience. That is the best part about running a hostel. At nine or eight, when I come here, you know, sit here, have the bonfire session, and start talking to people about the experience they are having at Musafir Hostel, and then I get to know that. Okay, this is what I started my hostel for. People are happy, people are feeling the vibe, people are feeling like home. That makes me the most happiest. Maintaining the staff is the uh, difficult part in running a hostel because hostel is a uh, budget culture. You cannot have like very professional staff because you need to pay them, and you need to charge so much from your guest which you cannot. So that is somehow what I feel is the most difficult part. Uh, one word and that is the same for uh, the president of um, US and the Prime Minister of India that is my personal feeling I don't know I might be wrong dictator What is traveling for you? Like, you know, everybody has their concept of traveling. For me, if I tell you, it's, I call it travel is to learn. You get to learn about things. Okay, so what is traveling for you? Traveling for me, there are many different ways of traveling. Short term, long term. Yeah. Um, I prefer to learn and live and learn other languages, experience other cultures. So when I travel, I prefer to stay in one area for a long period of time. Right. And then I get to know the people and the culture. So that's, that's my favorite way of traveling, slowly. Unfortunately, I'm on a bicycle right now, so I'm not really spending a lot of time in a lot of places. So I don't really get to take in the full culture. But for example, I lived in Colombia for four years, Ecuador for one year, New Zealand for two years, Turkey for a year. So I've taken in the culture and learned the languages. I'm looking for the next country where I'm going to stop and, like you said, learn and grow as a person. And that's what traveling is to me. What is something that you li like about hostels, like the best part? Everybody says it's the culture or meeting people and everything, but when a person is staying there for like 12 days, like you stay, 12 I guess, somewhere around like 12 days, and so then you actually got to know about that hostel, like inside out. So you would be having something, you know, different than 
a normal person who likes to stay in a hostel for like two days or three days. So what is the best and the worst part about staying in a hostel? For me, since I'm traveling by bicycle, the thing I look for the most in a hostel is a place where I can just relax and chill out. And this hostel has been the best. It has all these open areas where I can just just sprawl out, lay down, and just do what I want to do, have some privacy, and just enjoy my free time. I also like having privacy where I sleep. So if I could make a recommendation for your hostel, it would be to put curtains up on the beds. The worst part about a hostel for me is the atmosphere. If, it's, if it doesn't have a lively atmosphere and you don't feel comfortable, it's not clean, then you just don't feel like staying there. And that's ruined a few of my experiences traveling around the world. When the city's amazing, but then you have to go back to this place where you're not so happy, but you wanted to pay just a little less to save that extra dollar or two. So now in India, I've been not spending a lot of money on hostels and still getting really good, decent quality places to stay. All right, it's shotgun round time. He has two choices. He has to come up with the answer as quick as possible. Okay. China or Pakistan? Pakistan. Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Cow or almond milk? Cow. Dating or arranged marriage? Dating. Trump or Modi? Modi. Latin or Asian women? Latin any day. <laughs> <laughs> All right.